So as you can see here, this is uh, your simple architectural plan is open. So let us open the the floor plan. Okay. 
so if you want to see this uh, the elevation or uh, levels so go to the any elevation here and uh, as you can see this is by default this template is two levels level one and level two okay so um, as you can see and uh, this uh, this plan is this plan have three levels so you need to create uh, another level so as you can see here this is uh, this is the first floor plan is at 12 feet and this is the ground level is zero feet so you should change this one to 12 just to match this architectural level okay then what you will do you have to go to the collaborate tab copy monitor select link Then select link then monitor click on monitor then click this your uh, level and this architecture level it is going to be monitor and click on finish again copy monitor select link then monitor select this one then select this and click on finish now what you will do then this time you have to use the select link copy monitor then from here copy and click on multiple select this one Simply, uh, simply uh, click on finish. Okay. So as you can see here this uh, level is already created here this another level in the template is copied and as you can see here this uh, this icon is showing uh, white and black and this is showing blue and black that means your floor is not copied only this uh, level is copied here so we have to copy the floor also so go to the floor plan Go to the view view tab and here you can see this is the plan view then click on floor plan and then simply click ok so you can see here this is a uh, this uh, your floor roof is roof template is created simply click on finish now again go to the view tab and uh, now click on reflected ceiling plan then ceiling edit type then you can see here there is a fire button already selected then simply click ok it comes under ceiling ok now if you open this any elevation then you can see here this is going to be blue ok so the next is we are going to create a ceiling uh, sprinkler so a sprinkler is uh, generally placed on the ceiling so we have i have already opened this ceiling plan first floor ceiling plan so now we are going to place here a sprinkler so simply for placing a, uh, first of all you have to check the elevation what is the height of this ceiling so how to check this go to the annotated tab simply click on a spot elevation then simply click this one and place it here okay as you can see here so this elevation is uh, 10 feet for this ceiling elevation is 10 feet now we are going to place the sprinkler head so to place the sprinkler head go to the system system tab and click on a sprinkler okay now uh, 
now you can see here the, in the properties panel there is a sprinkler a sprinkler types of a sprinkler is given here so first one is dry horizontal second one is dry pendant hosted okay and uh, here is you can see here uh, the sprinkler pendant hosted half inch pendant okay so we are selecting this one and you can see here in this modify panel there are three options place on vertical face and place on face and place on work plane so in this case we are going to place if you see here uh, if you are taking this your cursor here on this vertical face this is not allowing to place it here see when you if you click it will not allow because it's selected here place on vertical face if you place it here see it's allowing okay this is for the face so you have to select this one place on face now it will allow so one we are placing here one is here and one is here okay so you have to measure this use the measure command and check this one so this is two feet and also here here is two feet so two feet by two feet so what you will do you need to place it here in between of these tiles so what you will do simply select this one and now use move command so from here simply move upside two feet oh sorry one feet you should uh, you supposed to be move one feet okay so select once again click on move move down one feet so we have selected move to one feet and again select this now we again click on move on this side you have to move one feet okay also move this one use move command one feet okay there we go so now you can see here we have placed here a sprinkler on this so we are going to place here four number of a sprinkler so you have to, what you will do simply copy this one select this select this click on copy click here okay we go now next is uh, what you will do simply select this one now click on copy we want to copy this one here okay I am going to move this one little bit. Okay. Now, what you will do? Simply select this like this. This to a sprinkler, and now copy this one. Simply click on constant. Click from here and simply place it here. Okay. So as you can see here, I have placed here four a sprinkler here two a sprinkler. Okay, now we want to place here one and here is one. So we are just copy this one. Place a uh, place two. It will depend as per the area. I have already made a video for the designing part. So you know how many no a number of a sprinkler required for what area. So the coverage area it will depend on the coverage area. So this is a, I just showing how to place it. So I am going to copy this one and place it here. Okay. Now next is again I am going to copy this. I am going to copy this. Select copy here. Now this time I am going to place it here. <coughs> select this 
select this one move So what I'm going to do now simply selecting this one and I'm going to move from here to here. Okay, now I'm going to select this, I'm going to move from here to one feet. Okay, one feet inside, so it will be placed exactly at the center of the tiles. I'm going to delete this one and I am going to copy this, select and copy. Click on copy and place it here. Okay, so where we go? Now you can see here we have placed all the sprinkler on the first floor. So how to see this is exactly so to see this it is placed exactly or no? Simply click here so you can see here this is the ten feet elevation. Exactly placed on the ceiling. If we want to see this in the section, we simply click on section. Okay, then simply click, right click, and go to view. So you can see here where is the sprinkler. The sprinkler. So this is your sprinkler you can see it is placed here on the ceiling and this is actually lighting so it's here okay so uh, you go to this uh, Roof, floor plan, roof, and here section, then ceiling floor plan. Okay. Now, what we will do, we are going to select, uh, we are going to place it uh, on the first floor also. So, first floor, you have to delete this first section view. And now, check the elevation here. So, go to the annotated tab, spot elevation. Okay, so you can see at the elevation the ceiling height is 20 feet now we are going to place the sprinkler here also so go to the system and select a sprinkler and uh, pend it hosted half inch and click this on fish so now this time I'm going to place it one here and one here okay and now select this one move click on move move one feet enter and now select this once again click on move one feet one feet inside okay now simply select this and copy and now this time we have to click on copy and now place it here okay again copy this one now click on this okay click here so we have placed here four now simply copy this select and click on copy then place it down Okay, so simply select this one and we need to move a little bit, move down one feet. Okay, now this one select and move it this side one feet. Okay, also move this one because we want to place all the sprinkler exactly at the center of the tiles. We need to adjust. Okay. So where we go now? What you will do? Simply select this sprinkler and again copy this. Copy from here. 
now this time we are clicking here okay so you can see here this is not placed exactly at the center this time we are going to move from here up to here okay now you have to simply click and again you need to move from this point to this point and so select this one click on move move command simply click and place it here okay now again you need to move this one click on move and exactly click at the center and place it here in the form okay so what you will do simply move this we don't want to put uh, more sprinkler here so we want to put only four sprinklers so we need to adjust simply click and uh, place it here okay now what you will do simply copy this one copy and uh, now click on copy and uh, go to the down down click here okay so you can see we have placed it here now simply select this now click on move and move down one feet enter okay now what you will do simply move this to inside simply select this one click on move and now this time this side one feet okay so we have move one feet now again select this move this time this side one feet you can see here this is exactly placed so now we are going to delete this one delete this and simply copy this one now click on copy this time so we are going to click on copy and now simply click here okay so you can see here we have placed all the sprinkler for the ground floor as well as first floor so in the next tutorial we are going to do the piping for this sprinkler in the revit system so don't forget to watch my next tutorial also so now would like to request you guys please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon as well and uh, please share and like comment my video so that you can uh, get the notification as well as you will get the more knowledge uh, for the MAP services so thank you for watching my video thank you bye, -bye.